Hello folks, Ariel at Fineth here. This morning I thought I'd do just a real quick clip of my toilet. This is my tiny bathroom. If you have not seen this before. But uh, we are in my tiny house, Fineth. And uh, since I am all off grid, I have a composting toilet. This is a nature's head. There are lots of other details on nature's heads, but I do get asked questions. So I'll do a quick clip because I need to empty the urine tank on mine this morning. This toilet has two parts. This bottle you can see right here holds liquids. This big part holds solids. The solids part I only empty about once every three to four months. Um, it's not full yet and the last time I emptied it there was no snow on the ground outside. As you can see there is snow on the ground outside right now almost up to my eaves. So anyway, I haven't emptied that for a while, don't need to yet. Um, I've got a whole post about emptying that and what I do with it and so on, but today all I need to do is dump the urine tank, which is something I have to do every week or two. That depends a little bit on how much I'm home. You know, obviously if I'm at work, I use the toilet there. So anyway, um, this is not a very complicated process. I'm going to see if I can do this while holding the camera. But first, I've already done this. There is a, oh, let me move so you can see it. There's a clip on each side which holds the whole seat part onto the base of the toilet. I've unclipped that which allows the seat part to lift. So now I'm going to lift this up and see if I can prop it with my knee. This is easier with two hands to pull out the full urine bottle, which comes out just like that. It's got this little basin in the bottom there, and now I've got the bottle in my hand. So off we go. I'm going to empty this outside. In the summer, what I do is dilute it about 10 parts um, to one with water being the 10 part part, and use it to fertilize various um, plants in my garden. Um, in the winter, what I do is I simply empty it onto the base of some of my many, many trees. Um, they seem to like it and are doing quite well. So anyway, that's what I do with the urine. I'm not going to try to carry the camera while I walk outside and pour it on a tree. But when I come back, what I'm going to do is it will be empty. That bottle, I will actually use my kitchen supplies. My sugar, which is about the only thing white sugar gets used for in this house. I will put a couple tablespoons of sugar into the bottom of the urine bottle, as well as a little bit of white vinegar, which is under my sink here. Um, the particular combination, some people also use like a grape soda or something like that, will let, um, it, se it seems to help kind of neutralize the odors. Um, I know the video doesn't provide a sense of smell, but when I pulled that bottle out of there, and opened up the seal, um, you know, I didn't get any urine smell. If you stick your nose in the bottle, yes, it smells like pee, but it does not really, it's not a miserable job to empty it, um, and it does smell slightly worse if I don't add the couple tablespoons of sugar and vinegar. So anyway, I'm gonna go dump it, then I'll put my sugar and vinegar back in. I will simply set the bottle right back into here. I'll set this back down on top of it, reclip the little latches on the sides, and I'll be good to go for a couple weeks again. Anyway, that's my morning empty the toilet chore. Thanks guys, uh, follow my channel, subscribe, check out my blog for more questions, and have a great day.